Hey guys, so today we're covering part two of our topic on attribution. So now I want to cover with you different types of attribution models and what they mean. So basically, once you're able to check the attribution in Google Analytics, you can tell how different channels are interacting with each other, like direct, paid advertising, social, organic search, all the entire path before the consumer makes an actual conversion. So the different type of ad attribution models, really what they help you determine is how much emphasis to place on each of the different channels when you're developing your marketing strategy. So two very simplistic attribution models are either the first click attribution model or the last click attribution model. So the reason why I'm not a really big fan of both of these attribution models is because they only emphasize and give credit to either the first channel to drive the entire conversion or the last channel that the user arrived from prior to making the conversion. They don't take into account any type of referrals that came in from email marketing, any type of content marketing that the consumer might have viewed, or any type of maybe paid advertising. It just totally depends on what the first source or the last source was prior to the conversion being completed. So in any marketing funnel, there's going to be multiple touch points that a consumer touches on prior to making that conversion like we've already covered. And since Google Analytics gives you the visibility to see what path they took prior to making the conversion, a really simplistic way of running an attribution model is like the linear path attribution model. And what that allows you to do is put equal emphasis on all parts of touch points that the consumer used to come um, to the conversion. Um, the reason why I think that's just a little too simplistic is it's giving even credit to all the different sources that drove the conversion and it doesn't really allow you to refine or improve your marketing strategy if you're continuing to put equal emphasis on all different channels. That means that you're always going to focus on each of these um, completely equally in order to drive conversions. Another attribution model is the position-based attribution model. What this attribution model basically does is it puts 40% of the value on the source that drove the first click and 40% of the value that drove the last click before conversion. And then it basically divides up 20% of the value across the different sources that the person touched on prior to converting. Um, this can be used, I think, to, you know, really give majority of the credit to the first click and the last click sources but again I think it just dilutes the value of the sources in the middle and so I do think there is room for improvement from the position based attribution model. And lastly, I want to cover the time decay attribution model. This is probably my most favorite attribution model for novice to intermediate marketers to use. What it basically does is it emphasizes and puts the most value on the last source which drove the, the conversion, but then it gradually gives values to, you know, decreases values across different sources up until the first click. And what I think you can learn a lot and eventually do with this time decay attribution model is eventually um, just fine tune it to develop your own customized attribution models and you can see like the different sources that you want to define different values to. So hopefully with a little bit more knowledge around which attribution model is probably best for you, you'll be able to use it to refine on your marketing strategy on how to allocate your budget, time, and resources across different sources that are contributing to your conversions. Thanks a lot for joining me today and don't forget to subscribe or post comments and questions below.